Howdy folks, Moses Woodson here from the High Desert Homestead and you guessed it, it's my day off and we've got projects. I'm going to get to them. So this is the camper that was given to us. George has started to demolish it. He took the top off and took the stove out. I still want to take the sink out and the electrical. So I'm hoping to get to that today. We had a bit of rain here today, so it kind of held us up for a little while. But uh, hopefully I can get the, get the electrical out of there. George had some bees get after him when he first started this. There's a yellow jacket nest over there in that um, in that quarter panel over there. But hopefully we're going to take this part and we'll take and get it get it all dismantled. We're going to make a flatbed trailer out of it. So a customer actually gave me this trailer, told me to just take it, and uh, it's pretty nice. Very nice little old trailer. Um, everything's better for free. So, me and George got the new fuel pump put on the truck. It's pretty wet out here. And I'll take you into here and show you. It's really wet. Sorry about the shaky camera work here. Me and George put the new fuel tank on the 1989 Ford F-150 four-wheel drive. You can see that's a inner tube we wrapped around there and some duct tape to keep the t new tank from rusting. Um, there's a new fuel pump. And what we found out is, is that the fuel tank switch over from front to rear is probably bad. When we put in the new fuel pump, we couldn't get any fuel through the switchover. So I'm thinking it's probably stuck in between front and rear tank. And uh, I've got to take that off there. I'm going to bypass it because we're going to take the the uh, rear tank off of it anyway. We're just going to do away with the rear tank. So I'm going to crawl under on the other side and show you the switchover real quick. So... This bracket was around the switchover canister. There's still water leaking under here. You, my ear. And these lines were on the, these are for the rear tank and they were actually leaking fuel quite a bit because the rear tank is is way higher than, the, than this point and the front tank is higher too. So we're, we're having to take and drain, just taking and draining the fuel out of these two, out of the rear tank. And I don't want to drain the fuel out of the front tank. They're still attached to the canister. I did get the canister loose, it is loose. But um, I've got to take the, the lines loose and I made some plugs, which I'll show you next. So these, we're connected to this. This is the old fuel pump that came out of the out of the old rusted tank. And I took and made these. These are the ends of the old fuel tank. We put some rubber hose on there, put some bolts in there, stop it. We're gonna put these in the lines so we don't lose all the fuel. Now what I've got to do to bypass that is to make some fuel lines bypass to go from here to our front pump. There's actually a high pressure pump on the rail. So I've got to have a connection on both ends. It's both male. These are both male. And I've got to make that. So if I can't get a parts house to make me one, there's a lot of them around here that make hoses for one thing or another. But if I can't get them to make me one, then I'm going to have to make it myself. 
So I may have to cut these off right here and flare this and put a fitting on there like a, a butane or propane fitting. Um, this one actually pretty long, it goes way up in there. So I'm gonna stick these in the line so that my fuel doesn't leak out of my front tank, which we just put new fuel in that, that new tank. Uh, that while I take and test the, the high pressure pump, we couldn't get any fuel through the high pressure pump because of the crossover. So made that and we're going to take and pull everything loose and, and stick those in the, in the front tank, uh, gas lines. Then we can test the, the front pump to see if it, if it actually works at all or not if not then i'm gonna to have to get a new one and it's about 90 bucks not too bad we put about 200 dollars in the into the front tank and pump so about 90 dollars more not too bad of a deal if we can get this truck running and we know the truck runs because we ran fuel through the intake and it, it starts and it runs so we just need to take and fix this fuel problem so can work on that next There's our two fuel lines capped off. Got them shoved up out of the way. And here's our fuel canister switch over. Four lines in, two lines out. Still leaking fuel. And I broke one of our fuel lines. So these lines are held on by just this little old clip. Goes on there. This one actually broke off. I'm hoping I can fix it. Um, I hope I can. Get them off there is kind of hard to do one handed. Here's what they look like. Then this clip just slides down in there on two sides and holds them on there. So this is our return line, this is our high pressure line. This is bad. I'm gonna take it apart and take a look inside of it. But the valves, pretty sure messed up in it. And I've gotta see if I can get this back on, this part here back on the fuel line that's there. So this is the end that I took off. You can see it's barbed, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm gonna to try to put that back on the hose that's down there. You can't heat it up because it's got gas on it. And the hose may be so bad that it's it's no good anymore, I don't know. This is for the return line. This here's the high pressure line. Took it off. And it goes from the, it went from the switch over to the High pressure pump. I may just rebuild these. I'm not sure if I can or not. I may just get some more hose and just run some fuel line from. I can get some fuel line that'll go in here and stay tight and tighten it down. Then I can put these on um, from the fuel lines going to the fuel rail all the way back to the tank. And that may be my best my best option. I don't know if they sell these. I may get some new of these. These are old and dried out. But if it works, it works. We'll see. Okay, so I found the fuel line coming from the back there where it broke. This is the hose that broke. This is the bypass, or this is the uh, return, I'm sorry. The return back to the tank. So it, it broke, so I just cut it loose. And this is it right here. It goes out of the intake off that fuel rail right there and goes back to the tank. And it has, I don't know if you can see it or not, it has a little raised nipple here and a little raised nipple here. So I can slide a hose up on that, clamp it down, and there's not more than about 15 pounds of pressure on that. So, fixes that problem. 
but I still have to get the other one working. Got to get the uh, the one that's important working. So I'm gonna try to do a, a test on the pump to see if it works at all. If it does, we're in good shape. If it don't, no, it is what it is. But we're gonna test it here. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a, some fuel through it. See if it works. Keep eliminating problems until it, until something works. We'll see. So what I've got here is I've got that old fuel line I took off the return. And I put the high pressure end of it on the fuel line. And I'm going to put the battery cable on and have Anna start it. And I'm going to see if we get fuel out of here. So fuel should come out. Let me take a flashlight. Shine it right there on that. So that's what we're hoping. Hoping fuel comes out of that and then goes through the fuel pump over there. And we may get a little bit of fuel coming out of those lines because they go back to the front tank. But here we go. Okay, and turn the key on. Let's turn it on. Do it again. Okay, folks. So we were testing the, the old pump on the rail, the high pressure pump, and the new pump wouldn't even work. And when me and George were out here the other day, when we first hooked it up, it was working fine. So unless I'm missing something, I checked all the voltage, we're getting voltage, so the pump hard to work. Um, it's not a complicated system. So it looks like I'm gonna have to drop the tank, take the new pump back out, take it back to O'Reilly's and get a new one, get another one, for replacement. I don't know. Uh, the joys of old vehicles. But, uh, the front pump seems to me like it works, but it, it, it kind of locks up. I don't know if there's a voltage relay from there to the to the other pump, but it doesn't, doesn't seem like it. It seems like they're both locked up. So I'm gonna get a new pump for the, we're gonna drop the rear, the, the tank again, take out the brand new pump I just put in, buy a new rail pump, put it on there. Everything should be working. We've got stuff all over here. Working on this old truck. Back to the drawing board. Try, try, try again. 